Good day everyone! Welcome to Science 10 Week 4 Plate Boundaries I am Sir Jonathan G. Torregosa and I will be helping you with this module. The Earth's crust is cracked and fragmented and these fragments are called plates. These plates are now moving on top of the mantle. The theory of plate tectonics starts with another idea, which is the continental drift. The Earth once had a single landmass called Pangaea that broke apart into pieces and drifted away to form the landmasses of today. The question is, how do plates move? One hypothesis is that large convection currents within the mantle move the plates. Movement is caused by the difference in temperature causing a rising and sinking cycle. Because of the movement of the plates, we now have what we call the plate boundaries. There are three types of plate boundaries. Convergent boundaries, Transform boundaries and divergent boundaries. Let's look at each type of plate boundaries and their examples. Convergent boundaries are boundaries that crash or crunch together, meaning the two plates are colliding to one another. There are three types of convergent boundaries. Continental-continental, oceanic-oceanic, and continental-oceanic convergent boundaries. What are the difference between this, these three boundaries? When two continental plates converge, a collision zone is formed. Subduction ceases for this particular type of convergence. No trench, no volcano, and definitely no island arc are created during this process. Instead, what is created is a large group of tall mountain called mountain range. About 40 to 50 million years ago, two large land masses, India and Eurasia, collided to begin the formation of the most visible product of plate tectonics, the Himalayas. Subduction is impossible between two colliding continental plates. Pressure is released by pushing the crust upward and forming the Himalayan peaks. Subduction is a geological process that takes place at convergent boundaries of tectonic plates, where one plate moves under another and is forced to sink due to high gravitational potential energy into the mantle. Regions where this process occurs are known as subduction zones. 90 million years ago, India rifted away from Madagascar and began its rapid movement northward, ultimately colliding with Asia between 55 to 50 million years ago. The reason it moved so quickly was because it was attached to a large oceanic slab of lithosphere that was subducted beneath the southern margin of Asia. Converging oceanic plates will cause the formation of trenches, and these trenches will become sources of earthquakes. Underwater earthquakes, especially the strong ones, can cause gen or can generate tsunamis. In convergence of two oceanic crafts, 
the leading edge of the subductive plate will eventually reach the mantle, causing it to melt and turn into magma. The molten material will rise to the surface, creating a volcanic island arc parallel to the trench. It is clear that this event gives rise to the formation of a volcanic arc near the edge of a continental leading plate. The reason for this is because the denser oceanic crust undergoes what we call subduction process or the bending of the crust towards the mantle. Another subsequent effect of the continuous grinding of the plates against each other is the occurrence of earthquakes. The subduction of plate can cause earthquake at varying depths. Mountains, volcanoes, and earthquakes occur as an ocean plate subducts under a continental plate. The oceanic plate melts, less dense magma rises to, the, to form volcanoes. Example of oceanic continental converging plates are Andes Mountain Range in South America, Cascade Range in North America, and Sierra Nevada in California. Divergent boundaries. These are plate boundaries that are coming apart from each other. Meaning, the, the two plates are going away from each other. Most divergent boundaries are situated along underwater mountain ranges called oceanic ridges. As the plates separate, new materials from the mantle ooze up to fill the gap. Now these materials will slowly cool to produce new ocean floor. There are two types of divergent boundary, the mid-ocean ridge and the reef valley. Mid-ocean ridge, new ocean floor, mountains, earthquakes, and volcanic action occur when an ocean plate spreads apart. Example of a mid-ocean ridge is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, which is the largest mountain range in the world. Reef Valley Continent starts to split apart, forming a reef valley, and eventually a seaway, and then an ocean. Volcanic activity and earthquakes occur in this area. Example of reef valley is the African Reef Valley. We are now done with the two types of plate boundaries. Let's move on with the last type of plate boundary, which is the strike slip or the transform plate boundaries. The strike slip or transform boundaries occurs when two plates slide each other. Transform faults join two segments of a mid-ocean ridge. Remember that the presence of a ridge is an indication of diverging plates. And as the plates diverge between the two segments of the mid-ocean ridge, the adjacent slabs of crust are grinding past each other. Most transform faults are located within the ocean basin. There are a few that cut through the continental crust. An example of this is the San Andreas Fault. The majority of tectonic activities like earthquakes, mountain formation, and volcanic activities happens along or near plate boundaries. Due to plate tectonics, the earth is constantly changing from 250 million years ago, 135 million years ago, 
from 45 million years ago and the world at the present time. What do you think will the Earth look like in the future? Again, I am Sir Jonathan G. Torregosa, your Grade 10 Science Teacher.